I'm here this morning with the legend himself, Tommy Foley, Bonefish Master. My biggest bonefish right now is two pounds. What are the odds of us breaking that? Easy, my friend. Easy. I like it. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. This time of year, you would find the bigger fish, double digit fish, combing the shoreline. Giants. Yes. Instead of hitting the hitting the mangroves hard, they're more comfortable because it's open water here. Yeah. So they will they would hug the shoreline, the bigger fish. So I think what we want to do this morning, once we get up here a little further, we just gonna hug the shoreline, pull back to the west. Okay, because in this area here, we, we have our juvenile toppings as well. Yeah. So there's a possibility we can be hooked on the topping. Um, nice bones, very nice bones. I like the nice bones. Yes. So, Giant bones. So, I mean, that's why I'm considering this now. Winter time is slightly different. Oh my gosh, there's thousands of bonefish, thousands of them. Now that's, not a, that's not a good sign. What? To see them out like that. Really? Yeah. Why? because that means that all those bonefish congregated like that, that you ain't gonna find much on the flats. Really? Hold on though, we, that's, that's, it's good and bad though. The good part about it is... We're gonna catch a lot of fish? Huh? We're gonna catch a lot of fish? No, if we can hunt them down. I didn't want to stop right on the fish. Yeah. You know, you gotta make them feel like we, we gone away. All right. Now your retrieve got them, your retrieve gonna probably be a little slower. Yeah. Because it's deeper water. Let it go down. Bump once, twice. It's a lot of fish. I catch most of my bonefish when I'm fishing for pompano and that from the beach in Florida. Yeah. They eat squid and yeah. uh, sand fleas and all stuff. Okay. Not big ones, like two, three pounders, but still a nice catch to catch sometimes. Uh, you know how we saw those fish just now? We, ride, we drove over them. My approach to those fish now is going to be very mild. I'm not gonna not gonna be too aggressive in getting back at them because it will spook them even more. So I just have to. You know, take my time and I just ease myself, ease the boat right onto this, on, on back onto those fish again. Oh, lemon shark chasing bonefish. Those bonefish he's chasing? Yeah. Jay. There you come. Jay. Jay. Okay. Fish on. Small fish. Nice. All right. I think the jack got in the way. First bonefish. Little, little, little bone. And they're strong. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Just school them right there. Get them. If you get them off quick, you get a chance to get another one, my friend. That's our first bonefish of the day, little guy. Let him go. Oh, I got Eagle Ray. Twelve o'clock, as far as you can. Twelve o'clock. Yeah. As far as you can. Sink. Okay. Cheek. There we go, bumper yeah. shot. That's a bigger one. That's bigger than your two pounder. Bigger than my two pounder? Yes, yeah, sir. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, I love that. He is getting ready to scream, yeah. That eagle ray. Look at that eagle ray on my skin. It's like a three, four pounder, right? Yeah. Oh, it's so sick. They fight so hard. I get the addiction. I get it. <laughs> I, mean, it's just, I love the sound of screaming dread. Yeah, that's, a, that's my PB bone right there, 100%. Gonna, I'm gonna, next time, next fish, I'm gonna try to place it for you, you know what I mean? You gonna place it. I'm gonna pick out a fish. Yeah. And pro have you try to put yourself in position for that particular fish. Okay. It's probably about three, four pounds? Yeah. B 
beautiful fish. Guys, oh, look at that. He's got tons of energy. They fight so hard. Yeah. Really pretty fish. Look at that mouth, guys. Let's let him go. Oh, right on my hands. We got two bonefish so far. They fight super hard. I've caught a few bonefish in my life, but sight fishing that fish, watching me eat it, and then hearing that line just scream. Oh my gosh, you guys gotta try this. Bonefish on. Oh man, look at that one going over here. How big is it? Hey, <gasps> look at oh that. My. That's a bone? That's a bone. Dude, there's a, that's a tank, let's get him. Alright guys, All right. another nice bone fish right there. Let's let him go. Okay. You know, once those jacks start to attack the jig, you want to ease up a bit. Let it sit to the bottom, because if it stays to the bottom, they're not, they, they're not going to be interested. They're not going to pick it up. The bones will, it will attract the bones. They will come over. As soon as they get on top of that jig, you just, you just move it one time, that tip one time, yeah. that, that, that bone will heal, just jump right on it. That's a big one. That's a bigger fish. Seaweed the structure. Now I'll get him out. He's wrapped up. He's wrapped. He, he, he's not. He's not even swimming anymore. He's done. Come on, grab the seaweed. Oh, he's off. He's off. Shoot. He wrapped me in that seaweed like a jack wraps you on a dock piling. That was crazy. He knew. That was a smart fish, guys. Hey, Josh. Don't worry about that, buddy. They they do that to the best of us, man. You know, those fish are so smart. Any little thing they can find a wrap around, they normally would wrap around and get and try to make yeah. their way clear. That was the biggest fish of the day by far. Yes, most definitely. But so far we we'll, we'll come across another one. I'm sure it's gonna be a little bigger than that. I like it. I feel better now. <laughs> All right, I think those fish uh, got a little smart on us. They they went around so we're gonna we're gonna pull, we're gonna go back down this way a bit, get around and pull towards here again. I think that's where those fish are gonna be. Um, they're pretty smart. Once they get behind us, they think they're, they're free, so we gotta, gotta get back around. Today I'm using a Stratic 3000 on a Terramore inshore rod. It's a medium action rod, and this is just like the perfect combination for bonefish. Your casting to these fish has to be almost perfect. If you go too far, it can work against you. If you, if you drop it too close, it can work against you. It has to be just right for these fish. You know, they, 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 are just, they are that skittish. So you have to, you just have to place that bait or that lure or anything you're using to catch them just right, just right. That's a bump fish. It feels weird. This one's definitely a good size. Dog me. There we go. It's a little bigger fish. 
So that one, guys. And there he goes. He just did not want to stay in my hands at all, being kind of quiet because there's literally like 500 bonefish right there. But I just can't see no of these bonefish. They're too slippery for me. According to Tommy, the bonefish are gone. The tide changed and they just move as fast as possible and we couldn't even find them with the drone. That's how fast they moved. So we're now looking for mud and snappers here on the flats and they are just sitting on these grass beds on structure. Huge mud, up to 20, 30 pounds, huge fish. Once the tide starts to go out, get slack and starts to go out, the bonefish are not on the flats. What they do is they congregate in the open water and once that tide turns, they move out to open waters even more than when they when the tides were coming in. So fishing for them is, you know, until the tide goes all the way out is kind of is kind of sketchy. So now what we're we gonna do here, we just we came out on the open flats and then we we be trying to catch our sites of mutton snappers, which is one of another good type of species to catch. What is that over there? Is that a fish? Is that a fish? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Mind what is that? That's a snapper. Go oh, ahead. Get yes. in front of him. Pull it. You can't get away from him. You can't get away from him. Let it go down. There you go. Dig it. Dig it. Nice. Oh. Dig it now. There we go. Big mutton. Huge yeah. mutton. Oh my gosh. What a monster. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. That's a monster. Wow! <laughs> oh, creeping! Go back, go back. You may take it again. Let. Dang, dude, that was so sick. He broke. He straightened the hook. I need. I need a stronger jig. I need a stronger jig. What he did? Yeah, he brought he straightened the hook out. He ain't gonna That's hit so that no sick. more. <laughs> he's not gonna hit that ever again, man. He ain't no. gonna worry about that. That was a that was over 10 pounds. I'm right above him. That was like a 15 pound mudding, dude. Need a stronger hook. Is that one stronger? Yeah. That was the biggest mudding I've ever seen. He crushed this lure. The hook straightened out. The hook strain out, guys. I had too much pressure on him. I was working the rod too hard. I was impatient. I was anxious. I was excited. I was every word under the book. Tommy, I'm getting too anxious out here, man. I'm seeing fish I've never even seen before. They're monsters. These giant bonefish, giant mud and snappers. This is epic. You got to relax, my good friend. You got to take it easy, man. You know, you get overly excited and, and something bound to go wrong. The more excited you get, the more likely things are to go wrong, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, you gotta take it one step at a time. Mudden snapper. What's that? What's that? Final following him. Is that another mudden? Huh? Yeah. Another one following him. Oh my gosh. Nice mudden on the flat. We went underneath. You went underneath. Oh, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What the heck is that? That's the artificial reef, buddy. He's underneath here, guys. About an eight pound mudden. Seven, eight pounds. Bring it out now. No tension. Tension. Hold on, he's wrapped. Keep going. Tension. Tension. You should be able to get him out now, buddy. He's wrapped underneath something. No, he ain't wrapped. He's just inside there. Pull. Hold on, hold on. Let me get away from you. Let me get away. Let me get away. Okay. Pop me. Broke it. Yeah, I need the leader. There he is. He's, look, he just came up the other side. See him? Yeah. Dang. Guys, I just cannot catch a break. I had that big one on, then I hooked another nice mud in. He went underneath this structure right here. Went through one end the other, and there was nothing I could do. I tried, we tried pulling him out, and I only got 20 pound braid. He popped it. So. Gonna re rig. There was another big mudding out here somewhere. I'm gonna try to find him, put another lure on, and try again. We're back here at the boat ramp. I have to get to Florida. We got a flight at one o'clock, but we still caught a lot of fish in a short period of time. Big thanks to my man Tommy here. Hey, PB man. Bonefish and hooked a giant mudding snapper. Oh my gosh, that was huge, man. What do you think? 18, 20 pounds? Easy. 
Yes. Dude, I got a scar on my heart from losing that fish. I will never forget about it until I come back here with you and hook a bigger one. That was, that, dude, I was shaking when I hooked that fish. That thing was <laughs> giant, guys. If you're in the Bahamas and you want to go fishing, hit up my man Tommy here. His email is in the description. He's a legend, guys. I'm telling you, he's going to put you on some huge fish. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Black Tip H Fishing is brought to you by Shimano. Frog Tongs. Designed for you, created for the outdoors. And Sudacore Nutrition.